Hey everybody, Coach Kozak here from Hasfit, and today we're going to do an intense cardio workout. This is a body weight routine, so that means we're not using any equipment whatsoever. It's a great workout for both men and women of an intermediate through an advanced fitness level. We're going to burn a bunch of calories, we're going to get your heart rate up, and I'm going to be here to motivate you every step of the way. If you're ready to go, let's get this thing started. Alright, let's get started. We're going to start in squat position, down for weight and butt, feet together. We're going to jump out and then bring it back together. This is a low squat, in and out. You want to stay back with the weight in your hips. Throughout the entire movement, this is definitely going to burn out your legs. It's a great way to start this workout. Good. Stay seated back, in and out. The more tired you get, the more you're going to want to pop up. But I want you to stay down there for five more seconds. And three, two, one, zero. Good. Next, we're going to get into a high plank position. And now we're going to jump side to side. So side plank hops, side to side. If you have to, you can come in the middle in between. But I prefer you to go all the way from one side to the next. Good. You should breathe on this one. Really easy to hold your breath. Good. Keep it up. We got five more seconds in four, three, two, one, up on your feet. We're gonna move right into it. Now sprint now. Sprint, move those feet, hop feet, hop feet. We're gonna go sprint into a lateral hurdle. So sprint, 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 sprint. Lateral hurdle, lateral hurdle. Sprint, sprint, sprint. And again, lateral hurdle, lateral hurdle. Back into a sprint. There you go, now you get the hang of it. Breathe, hurdle, and back to a sprint. Good, good, good. We got one more. Hurdle, hurdle, and back to a sprint. Good. And three, two, one. All right, back on the ground. Next, we're doing a push up plus a split jump and back. There it is. High plank push up split jump. Alternate between the two. Keep your abs tight. Core tight on this one. Doing it for 30 seconds in total. Getting as many reps in as you can. Try your best to get full range of motion on that push up. All the way up, all the way down. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. On our feet. Moving into a sumo squat jump. Similar to a normal squat jump. But our feet are wide, weights back on our hips, and you have your toes pointed out just a little bit. Good. All the way up, all the way down. Get that nice full range of motion. Nice job. We got 10 seconds left on this one. Keep grinding through it. I know it's burning and move. Come on now. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Next, we're going to do a side-to-side -side punch out. We're going to put our weight in our hips, and we're going to punch side-to-side, -side, just like the name suggests. We want you to return your hands back to your chin after every repetition, and we're twisting and rotating at the hips and in our obliques. So we're getting some good ab work in on this one, as well as getting your heart rate up. Good. Keep twisting, keep punching. Getting as many punches in as you can and this a lot of time, period. Good, twist, twist, twist. And five, four, three, two, one. Next, we're getting down into a squat position. We're gonna drop into a plank. And back up into the squat. So it's the whole thing right here. Get those legs back and do a squat thrust. Pop back up. Legs back, back up. If you have to, you can step back and come up. But I prefer two legs, up, two legs back. Good. Staying seated. Just repeating that process. Good. Just a couple more on this one. The legs all the way back. Keep that back tight. Core nice and straight. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're up. Next, we're going to get to another low position. We're going to do a low squat foot switch. We're just replacing that foot 
in the center, switching our legs and our feet side to side. So top feet on this one is the name of the game. And breathe. Good, good, good. Alternating between sides. I know your legs are burning by now. It's okay, they're supposed to feel that way. Mine are hurting too. We got five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Next, we're gonna walk over to a wall. We do a one arm wall push up. Alternating arms. So we're pushing off the wall, alternating arms each time. The further back your feet are, the harder it'll be. The closer your feet are, the easier it'll be. But either way, you want to try to keep your hand parallel to your chest. Push off and switch. Push off and switch, just like so. Nice work. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Ten more seconds of this one. Remember to breathe. Keep that core nice and tight. In five, four, three, two, one. Moving on to a skier next. Feet are on a 45 degree angle. We're just gonna switch. That's the whole thing. Right there, switching those hips over. 45 to 45. So on the hips, making sure to sit back with the weight in your hips and your glutes on every rep. Good, 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 come on. Keep it up, pushing the base now. Pushing the base, you got the hang of it. Let's go, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, move for me, move for me. And 10 seconds left. Keep it moving. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, that's the end of the first round. I'm going to do another low squat. We're going to do an iso squat plus uppercut. So we're just going to stay in this position with our hips parallel to the ground, giving me quick uppercuts. No, this isn't a perfect boxing form uppercut. It's just to get our upper body moving, keep that heart rate up while we're sitting down in this iso squat position. Nice work. Come on, keep those punches moving. Fast, fast, fast. Hot hands, hot hands. Good, good, good. 10 more seconds on this one, stay low, don't come up. No matter what those legs are telling you to do, don't listen to them. They're lying to you, they got plenty left in them. Nice, nice, and five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand it up. We're gonna do a broad jump, which is a two foot jump, big jump, weight back in our hips, and kick back, and then we're gonna walk back. So again, it's a broad jump, weight in our hips, Thrust back and walk back. So similar to the one we did earlier, but just more brutal. Nice. Big jump forward. Weight in our hips, kick back, and then walk back and repeat. Takes a couple to get used to it, but it's worth it when you do. All right, come on, keep it up. It's a tough one, even for me. Remember, thousands of us doing this same workout. Our bodies are crying just the same. It is yours. Nice work, come on. Keep pushing, keep moving. Dig deep for me now. Last one. And walking back. Nice, going back to the wall. We're gonna do a wall push up plus clap. So we're gonna push up, clap, and back. Two hands on this one. Just like the one you did earlier, the further back your feet are, the harder this movement will be. The closer your feet are, the easier it'll be. So you decide where you're at and choose the right distance for your fitness level. Nice, come on, keep them moving. No breaks on this one today. We got 15 minutes straight, non-stop work. Buck kicking action. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Next, we're going to do a lateral one, two, three. So we're going to go one, two, three, over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those legs up. One, two, three. And repeat. Good. Take a big lateral side to side jump on every right. Good. Come on. Keep it up after you get the rhythm down. 
pick that pace up. Cause I remember what he came here for today. Something brought me here. Focus on what is motivating you. Whatever your goal is, whatever you're working for, now's the time to focus on it. Instead of thinking about how bad your legs hurt. In three, two, one. Good, next we're doing an A skip. This is a track and field movement. Opposite arm and leg work together. It's very similar to a march in place, but only we skip and jump up with that foot that's on the ground on every rep. Keep those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. Now again, get into the rhythm on this one. Nice. Hot feet, keep them moving. Is it pointing the workout where you want to slow down? You want to quit, but there's no quit in us. We're fighters, not quitters. Come on, keep it moving. In five, four, three, two, one. We'll be going to the ground for the next one. I'm warning you, it's going to be brutal for me too. Good old fashioned mountain climb. There it is right there. High plank position. Bring those knees up and alternate. Very important to breathe on this one. Get that oxygen flowing. Good, come on. Work with me, work with me. Get that sweat going, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good sign that it's working. Come on. It's not sweat, it's liquid oxygen. Getting stronger every day, come on. Push, push, push. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. It's time for some abs. We're on our back for this one. I'm gonna put my feet under my glutes, but you can have yours off to the side if you wish. We're gonna have our feet on a 45 degree angle, legs on a 45 degree angle. We're gonna open our legs and close them. That's the whole thing right there. It's called the Hello Dolly. I didn't pick up the name. Make sure to breathe, keep those feet up. Don't let them drop and don't have them too high because it'll get too easy for you. We don't wanna make it easy, God forbid. Come on, keep it up. Breathe, open them and close them. That's the whole thing right there. You got it. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice, now we're moving right into a lying leg raise. So no rest in between. That's the key to a good ab workout. It's constant time under tension, not letting those abs rest. Bring your feet down until they're about six inches away from the ground and then bring them back up. Don't bounce them off the ground. Whatever you do. Good. Again, on this one, you see I have my hands under my glutes and lower back. But if you prefer, you can have them out to your side. It's really just a preference and a comfort thing. Nice. Come on. Keep it up. Keep driving. How many can you get? And then a lot of time. Nice. Keep those legs straight. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Now keep them up. And we're going to go into a toe touch. You don't really have to touch your toes, but maybe it's better called a toe reach. Reaching up towards those toes. Big, tall crunch every time. Ads are starting to catch on fire. That's okay. That's how we know it's working. Learn to love that burn. Fight through it. That burn is just lactic acid being released into your muscles, and we can choose to ignore it. Don't listen to it. Just keep working. Keep moving. You got it. Come on. Keep driving. Keep driving. You got 10 more seconds on this one. Breathe. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're moving into a side plank position. We're going to split the time half on one side, half on the other. All your weight is on one foot. Nice and straight line here. My weight is evenly distributed on my forearm, and we're just going to hold. Breathe. Great one for your core. Really focuses on the obliques. Hold, hold, hold. That's the whole thing right there. You got it. Don't give up. Getting through this workout is going to be all about mental toughness. Come on. Pushing through it. Pushing through it. Don't quit. This workout's 100% mental at this point. In five, four, three, Two, 
One, okay, we're gonna switch sides. Get up the other side now, ready? And up, there it is, good, hold. Another 30 seconds on this side. Only one set on each side. Fighting through, we don't have much left, everybody. Come on, fight with me right to the very end. Like I said earlier, focus on what brought you here today. So it's gonna get you through this workout. Not doing this for anybody else, doing it for yourself, come on. Fighting through it, breathe. You got it, relax, go to your happy place on this one. Happy place, and 10 more seconds. Fighting through, fighting through. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last one, we're gonna get into a crunch position. Have your feet on the ground. We're gonna crunch up, one, two, punch. Crunch, one, two. So every time you're crunching and you're standing up, just long enough to get two punches in. If you're having to do anything like I do right now, this is a definite, definite challenge. That's okay. It's the last one we have for the day. Remember, it's all psychological at this point. You are a fighter, not a quitter. One, two punch every time. Come on, fighting through. You're so close to the very end. Think about how good you're going to feel when this workout is done. How accomplished you are going to feel. You can carry, about the, carry out the rest of your day knowing you got your workout in. Come on, let's go. Move, 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 pushing it, pushing it. What do you got left? No worries to hold anything. Don't hold anything back. Put it all out there. Everything you got. Come on, we have 15 seconds, that's it, 15 seconds. You can do it, 15 seconds has absolutely nothing on you. Come on, move for me, move for me. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whew, that was a tough one. Nice shot, way to push through. Not one body part escaped that 15 minutes of insanity. I hope you enjoyed this workout today. If you did, make sure you come back, repeat this workout often, or check out Hazbit's website where we literally have hundreds of these routines all there for you for free. We also have our free meal plans to help you lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. Please do us a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. that will really help us keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page and follow us on Twitter. We'll make sure we deliver you the best daily motivation. But while you're at it, go ahead and pick up the new Hasbit Interactive Trainer app. And you can take these great workouts with you wherever you go. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasbit, and I'll see you at your next workout.